Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm looking at the price of XRP. Um, just a little update here. We have our base right in here. Basically a Wyckoff accumulation. We broke out in five waves, impulsing, right? This is an impulse to the upside. But then look at the correction. It's correcting to the downside. It's choppy. Very choppy, overlapping, choppy, overlap, chopping, overlap. This is impulsing and this is chop, which means this is a this is a um, a wave that is about to turn bullish. We just gotta wait for confirmation. And what could be confirmation is this right here. So you have a left shoulder, you have a right, uh, the head. So your left shoulder, your head, and your right shoulder. So let's see if that continues to form. Um, basically, we are, there's your flag pole, and here's your flag. We broke out of the flag, right? We're coming down to potentially back test the flag and then continue higher. And basically, that would finish up the right shoulder. So we have shoulder, head, shoulder, right? So this could be a bottoming, right? This could be a bottom. If the shoulder gets too long and it takes out this low, then we're gonna look for a back test of this 54 cent area. And when I zoom out, let me mark it real bold right here. When I zoom out, to the daily chart you can see here and I can drag this back down here um, that's gonna basically be back testing this area right here so basically um, all of this all of this all of this we broke out once but we came back under so it didn't confirm we got the breakout but we didn't get the back test Instead, we sliced right through it. So now we have to start all over again, right? So we broke out, right? And now we could potentially be coming down to back test this area and then continue higher, which is at 54 cents. Right now we're at 60 cents. So if we zoom in back to say the two hour chart, you can see, um, take all that off I mean you can see pretty clear that this is your neckline strong resistance your shoulder your head and we had this sideways breakout but it was a false breakout right we weren't ready yet so potentially coming in here for that right shoulder so um, what would be the, the measured move of this right shoulder? I mean, you could take it from the wick or the candle. I'll just take it from the wick and go up there. I'll put that right about there. That takes us back above this, um, this liquidity area up in here. So um, about 68 cents. 67 68 cents so that that would be the deal right there so the question becomes then is this one two and then we're going for three or is this one a b c and then we go for three that's the question i think we're gonna get this pump to the upside if we don't break this area so i could pull a fibonacci i'll pull the fib down here right if we don't get above the 70 oh look at that it's right at the 702 of the of that retracement so that's definitely interesting so right in here we want to break above 68 69 cents if we could do that then I'm targeting about that 85 cent level. 
And if we get that 85 cent level, then, you know, it, it, it's, it basically confirms um, this impulse to the upside, right? So if I zoom out back to the daily, take that off, and we get a move one, two, three to that 85 cent area, right? That would basically be challenging this high right here. If we get above that, then that's when we're talking. That's when we're talking. Then we can start challenging these levels in here, which is the ultimate, ultimate goal, is to take this out right here. So between, I would say between a dollar and a dollar sixty. So we take out that area and it's, we're basically in price discovery and there's no question we'll be going to new all-time highs and beyond that so we're, we've got some areas to work out here but basically um, looking at two things number one is this back test area right in here let me take all this off um, This is a very important area. That 54, 55 cent area must be held at all cost. We broke above. We could be coming down to that 54 cent area right now, back testing it and then continuing higher. And that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. If not, and we break below, then I'm looking at 37 cents to 42 cents before a bigger move higher because that would complete wave E. And you say, wave E, what are you talking about? Well, if I zoom all the way out, it's a triangle, right? And so basically, if you pick this right here, Elliott wave triangle, A, B, C, D, and now we're gonna go to E right so e needs to finish up and in order for it to finish up it needs three waves and right now we have one we're in two and now we just need one more wave to the downside and then blast off so every other wave here has had three one two three one two three one two three one two three what comes next? One, two, three. So we could be going down to 37 cents, but it would be the most bullish 37 cents, 37 to 42 cent area, right? Before that mega, mega blast off, which I believe is coming, not financial advice. I could be totally dead wrong. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. This is just um, entertainment purposes only, but this is what I believe. This is my opinion on what I think is gonna happen. So again, a, B, C, go, number one, or we back test this area, which we haven't done yet, come down, boom, and then we start working our way higher, challenging those retracement areas, or zooming all the way in, you could see this inverse head and shoulders right here, right? So this would suggest we can continue higher, or we'll get up to here and then come back down and retrace, right? Which would be um, just another, another um, scenario for that back test zone. So basically A, B, C, come down and back test these highs, right? Make it the new support and then continue higher. So either way, looking for a move up and then we have to figure out, are we gonna get through there or are we gonna come down? So if we just come down now and get it over with, that's good too. That's great too. Let's just, it'll be perfect one, perfect two, and then we go, right? So we just have to wait and see what's gonna happen. But right now, it's, it looks like a nice orderly 
Uh, if I zoom in, let's go down to the 20 minute chart. So you could see it pretty clearly there. I mean, I don't know about you, but that looks like strong resistance to me. And that's a cup, a shoulder, a cup again into uh, the neckline. And now we're going down again. So if we can do this, if we could start rounding out here, we have a good chance of getting and breaking that 60, uh, 62 cent level. So let's see what happens. Um, you know, either, either way, when you zoom out, you know, we're hodlers, we zoom out, we wait because this right here is mega bullish. And the reason why it's mega bullish is because this right here is just this right here, but bigger, right? So for example, um, you have a rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways blast off right rise crash retrace reaccumulation sideways base blast off so same things happening now we have a rise crash retrace reaccumulation sideways sideways blast off so same thing by the way if you hear my son in the background he's playing with his uh, toys over there. So you might be, uh, you might hear him there. And uh, so, but anyway, the, I can't emphasize enough that, you know, the, I just call it the five phases. Five phases, right? You have a rise, a crash, a retrace, a reaccumulation, sideways blast off. Same thing with Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin had the same thing had a rise to 20k it had a crash down to 3k it had a retracement up to 14k and then it had c19 reaccumulation and then it took off so basically we are at those c19 levels for xrp and the longer we go sideways right same thing in here it's the same type of move right so I zoom out just a little bit there we can see symmetry it's symmetrical right um, we see fractals in here so yeah that's basically my view um, this was a triangle this is a just a bigger triangle and we're just working out that last area of that triangle so uh, let's see uh, what can what can happen here so targets targets everybody wants to know where we're gonna go well I don't want to give you the same targets as everybody else but a lot of people have that ten dollar target and that and I feel like that's a good target to have um, if you base this off linear scale um, then that full 4.236 comes in at $13. If you base it off log scale, then I'm looking between $13 and $26. So basically this right here. So from here to there. And it doesn't have to go there, but I think it's got enough utility that this thing can can definitely uh, get to those targets. Remember, XRP never broke into a new all-time high. That is why it's even more bullish. I've said before, most coins, they had their bull run in 2017, they had their bear market, and then they went on to a new bull run like Bitcoin. And then they basically had a bear market and now they're sort of retracing, right? So most coins are chilling right here right up here xrp is way down here so which one would you rather have you would rather have the one that has more potential because remember um 
This is the all-time high. This is the pivot point right here. Mo this is basically Bitcoin 20K, right? Um, if Bitcoin was at 6 to 10K, a lot of people would buy it. And basically, that's where I see XRP. XRP is taking the long way, just like this, a sideways base. You have your markup phase, and then you have another sideways base. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to see how this comes about, right? But basically, we want to see another base come up here. So bigger the base, the higher in space. Consolidation, markup phase. Consolidation, markup phase. Consolidation, markup phase. And that would be it. That would be the five waves, right? But we're not even in wave three yet. This whole thing is wave one. This is wave two. About to enter wave three, the biggest wave. Then four, then five, and then we ABC. By the way, Bitcoin, the problem is Bitcoin had already created five waves. However, we could still be, you know, in the fifth of the fifth. We're just working on the fifth wave now. So... Hard to, hard to tell at the moment. There's different ways you can look at it, but we just have to keep an eye on things. But right now, um, the only thing I'm doing is just hodling, waiting, watching, observing, trying to figure out what's going on. And a good thing to just look at is just, you know, keep your trend lines, keep your resistance lines, right? Um, doesn't hurt to just have something like this here just to to guide us right and then you have the middle right which we're right smack in the middle if you take the middle um you know you have this point this point this point these points here right even these down here so this is the middle we want to be above the middle and we're right smack in the middle so basically the goal here is to work these retracement levels right in here that block in there between a dollar and a dollar sixty break above that block come down and back test it right you want to back test this the top of the range and then we can enter price discovery. And that's when we can see the fireworks, right? And then doesn't that look plausible to you? If I zoom out here, doesn't that look like that's doable? I mean, come on, it looks doable to me, especially since XRP won the lawsuit. XRP, uh, you know, has a lot of utility value. It's got Ripple, the company, right? They, if Ripple the company didn't exist, I probably wouldn't be much in XRP. But they, but they are a centralized company that built a decentralized ledger. That their main business model is on-demand liquidity, payments, and to me, that's a big utility factor. And the fact that the SEC chose them to go after tells me that they are afraid of them, right? You attack those you fear the most. That is why I'm very bullish on XRP. Gary Gensler and that other dude, um, Jay Clayton, he, uh, they both sued Ripple as far as I'm concerned on his last day in office. I mean, what kind of rig deal is that? And they went on with this lawsuit forever because they wanted to make an example out of one of the biggest cryptocurrencies. And you say, well, why didn't they make an example out of Ethereum? That's because they're in bed with Ethereum doing backdoor deals. Just look at the, the Hinman speech and look at um, all the other stuff that's going on, right, with ETHgate and things like that. So here was our triangle. Here is our markup phase. Here is our new triangle. And here would be our third, our second markup phase, right? So basically, that's how I'm viewing it. It's got the utility value. It's got the price structure. It's got the government attacking it because it fears it. 
It's got all the attributes. It's got a big use case, right? Um, and not to mention a lot of other things. Um, there's actually a video that I like about why um, somebody put this video together. I might post it on on my YouTube channel, but it basically rapid fires why that guy's in XRP. And it's pretty eye-opening. It's like, whoa, it makes you think. So, and people can say it's a banker coin. Why you got to be in a banker? Well, banks have all the money. And you say, well, you just said banks are corrupt. Yeah, they are. But they need accountability. And crypto, a company like Ripple, Ripple gives them accountability. They give It gives them accountability. Uh, when my son was born, uh, he was like, I don't know, six months old. Um, we got him a shirt and it said, no, mom, I don't want the nipple. I want ripple. And it had like a ripple moon. It was funny. But yeah, yeah. anyway, long story short, I'm bullish. Question is when? That's the hardest thing to figure out. But at the end of the day, it's not a matter of um, if, it's a matter of when. And if you're just positioned, then basically you're just a linear in linear motion waiting you're just all 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 your concern is this is just flat right and you're waiting for this so you don't know if it's going to happen here 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 or if it's going to happen here but if you hodl right if you hodl you don't have to worry about it because if you're trying to time it you could be wrong-footed and it can leave without you. So that's why we huddle. So basically, yeah, um, taking everything off the screen, going down to the one hour chart once more. We have broken this downward resistance line. So, Fibonacci, we want to get above this right in here. Let's break above that. If we can break above that, we're going to be in good shape. So I leave, with, like, I leave you with that. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Let's see if we can continue marking higher. Or we come down, we back test, and then we go higher. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Not financial advice. Thank you guys for listening. If you can, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.